The GDPR is definitely one of the major talking points at Money 2020. It's a very important piece of the regulation that really strengthens data protection in today's digital economy. So the GDPR is all about putting individuals back in control of their data, right? And so this is obviously super important. It's important to ensure compliance, but it's important because it's the right thing to do. And it's important to earn and maintain the, the trust of your consumers, but also of your customers, your suppliers. Um, and trust is obviously um, a key pillar of uh, the di digital ecosystem. But again, um, global companies should make sure that they comply with the GDPR and, and they put individuals back in control of their data. Now, at MasterCard, we take privacy very seriously. And the GDPR is not really a revolution for us, it's really an evolution. So we've always embedded privacy in the design of all our products, our services and our technologies. But we've taken the GDPR as an opportunity to review all our products and services and to make sure that we truly embed privacy in the design of our products. Hopefully, that's the goal, right? So, yes. And, uh, but actually the whole um, objective is to make sure that the individual's privacy is being protected, that the data is being protected what, while still enabling businesses to use data for innovation. This is an interesting question. And you know what, we see actually developments in other parts of the world. Actually, in a couple of countries right now, the regulators, governments and consumers are actually looking at the GDPR and regulators are, are starting to use the GDPR as a reference, as a benchmark. So it's going to be interesting to see how the GDPR has a global impact. So we have really built enterprise level capabilities in order to empower individuals to exercise their rights. So let me give you an example. We have built data access portals which enable individuals to ask a copy of the data, to request for the data to be corrected, to be deleted, and really, to, again, to put individuals back in control of their data. And so that's a perfect example where privacy is embedded in our technology to both ensure compliance while enabling innovation.